Naxaria let out a long sigh as she slumped over her desk, her furry ears drooping in boredom. Another tedious day at the Galactic Tourism Bureau. She absent-mindedly flipped through a stack of brochures advertising the same old vacation spots. The Crystal Caves of Lusteria, the Floating Islands of Nebulox, yawn. A flash of bright color caught her eye. A glossy new magazine peeking out from the bottom of the pile. Curious Naxaria tugged it free and gazed at the cover. Hunky humans, Earth's hottest males, the headline boldly proclaimed above a shirtless, muscular man with a charming smile. Naxaria's tail twitched with intrigue. She quickly glanced around the office to make sure no one was watching, then flipped the magazine open. Her eyes widened as she browsed photos of chiseled jaws, bulging biceps and confident poses. The article raved about human males' tremendous masculinity, charisma, and sense of humor. Naxaria found herself growing warm under her fur. Earthmen seemed so exotic and alluring compared to the males on her planet. What's that you're reading, Nah? A voice chirped. Startled, Naxaria slammed the magazine shut and spun around to see her co-worker and best friend, Mila. Oh, um, nothing. Just a silly tabloid. Naxaria stammered, her cheeks turning pink. Mila arched an eyebrow. Uh-huh, sure. You're blushing brighter than a sunspot. She snatched the magazine and flipped through it, her eyes lighting up. Ooh, human hunks. The girls back home would go crazy over these guys. An idea struck Naxaria like an asteroid. Mila, what if we went to Earth to see them for ourselves? Mila blinked in surprise, then slowly grinned. You mean like an undercover research mission to scope out Earth's tourism potential? Yeah, that's it. Research. Naxaria nodded vigorously. It's our duty to explore new worlds and um, study their inhabitants. For science? Mila giggled. For science? Right. Well, I'm in. Let's go meet us some hunky humans. The two friends huddled together, poring over the article and hatching their scheme. Earth wouldn't know what hit it when these curious alien gals arrived in search of Terran testosterone. Naxaria could hardly sit still the rest of the day, her mind swirling with fantasies of flirtatious encounters and dramatic interspecies romance. Finally, an adventure to cure her boredom and answer the tantalizing question, were Earthmen really as dreamy as they seemed? She couldn't wait to find out. Naxaria and Mila spent the next few days planning their research trip to Earth. They poured over intergalactic travel guides, trying to decipher the strange human customs and culture. Says here that humans greet each other by pressing their mouths together, Mila read aloud, wrinkling her nose. It's called kissing. Weird. Naxaria shrugged. When in Rome, right? Or in this case, when on Earth? We'll just have to pucker up and blend in. The girls dissolved into giggles, imagining themselves smooching sexy Earthmen. They compiled a list of must-see destinations based on the magazine article. The sun-soaked beaches of California, the rugged mountains of Colorado, the pulsing nightclubs of New York City, wherever the hottest hunks could be found. Finally, the day of departure arrived. Naxaria and Mela disguised themselves in human clothing, tight jeans, low-cut tops, and sunglasses to conceal their alien features. They boarded a sleek spacecraft and set course for the blue planet called Earth. As the ship hurtled through Kyorku the Cosmos, Naxaria felt a mix of excitement and nerves churning in her stomach. Would human males find her attractive? Would they be charmed by her alien quirks? Or would she make a complete fool of herself? Mila seemed to read her thoughts. Relax, nah, she said, patting her friend's hand. We're smart, funny, and adorable. Those Earth boys won't know what hit them. Just remember, we're on a mission to explore strange new biceps, to seek out new abs and new flirtations, to boldly go where no alien gal has gone before. Naxoria laughed, feeling her worries melt away. You're right, Mila. This is going to be the adventure of a lifetime. Hours later, their ship entered Earth's atmosphere and touched down in a secluded field on the outskirts of Los Angeles. The girls emerged blinking into the bright California sunshine. Palm trees swayed in the warm breeze and the distant sound of traffic hummed. Well, we're not in Kansas anymore, Mila quipped. Naxaria rolled her eyes. We were never in Kansas, dummy. That's from some old Earth movie. Whatever, nerd, Mila stuck out her tongue playfully. Let's go bag us some beefcake. Arm in arm, the alien BFF set off towards the city, ready to take the human dating scene by storm. 
The air crackled with anticipation in the promise of adventure as they embarked on their quest to unravel the tantalizing mysteries of Earth's most alluring males. Naxaria and Mila navigated the bustling streets of Los Angeles, marveling at the towering skyscrapers and colorful billboards. They blended in seamlessly with the throngs of humans and other alien tourists as Earth had become a popular destination for intergalactic travelers in recent years. Ooh, check out that one, Mila whispered, nudging Naxaria and pointing at a tall, muscular man walking a fluffy golden retriever. He's got the whole sensitive dog lover vibe going on. Cute! Naxaria nodded appreciatively, her heart fluttering as she imagined running her fingers through the hunk's tousled hair. Suddenly, the man glanced their way and flashed a dazzling smile. Naxaria felt her knees go weak. He's coming over here, she hissed to Mila. Act natural. The girl struck casual poses as the handsome stranger approached, his dog trotting happily beside him. Hey there, he said, his voice deep and smooth like honey. I couldn't help but notice you two lovely ladies. Welcome to Earth. I'm Ian, by the way. Mila batted her eyelashes and extended a hand. Charmed to meet you, Ian. I'm Mila, and this is my friend Naxaria. We're just visiting from the Listeria system. Listeria, huh? I've heard it's beautiful there, Ian said warmly. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay on our planet. If you need a tour guide, I'd be more than happy to show you around. Maybe we could grab a coffee sometime? Naxaria's heart soared at the invitation. Their first Earth date. She opened her mouth to accept, but Mila beat her to the punch. We'd love that, Mila gushed. How about tomorrow afternoon? We could meet at that cute little cafe on the corner. Ian grinned. It's a date. See you then, Listeria. With a wink and a wave, he continued on his way, his adorable dog trotting beside him. As soon as he was out of earshot, Naxaria rounded on Mila. What was that about? I thought we agreed that I would do the talking. Mila shrugged apologetically. Sorry, Na. I got carried away. But hey, we scored a date with a total hottie. High five. Naxaria couldn't stay mad at her best friend's infectious enthusiasm. She slapped Mila's outstretched hand, a grin spreading across her face. Okay, okay. I guess it's not a bad start to our Earth adventure. But tomorrow, I get to take the lead. The girls spent the rest of the day exploring the city, marveling at the sights and sounds of human culture. They sampled exotic Earth cuisine. Pizza and ice cream quickly became their new favorite foods. Browsed trendy boutiques and even caught a glimpse of a famous movie star, though they had no idea who he was. As the sun began to set, painting the sky in brilliant hues of orange and pink, Naxaria and Mila found themselves strolling along the iconic Venice Beach. The boardwalk buzzed with activity. Street performers juggled flaming batons, artists hawked their wares, and muscular men pumped iron at the outdoor gym. Mila let out a low whistle. Would you look at those biceps? I bet they could crack coconuts with those things. Naxaria giggled, feeling a blush rise to her cheeks. Easy there, tiger. We don't want to come on too strong. Remember, we're supposed to be blending in. Just then, a deep voice interrupted their banter. Well, hello there, space angels. The girls whirled around to see a tall, dark-haired man smirking at them. He wore a tight black t-shirt that showed off his impressive physique and had a mischievous glint in his eye. I couldn't help but overhear your little conversation, he drawled, stepping closer. Sounds like you're new to our little blue planet. The name's Reigns, and let's just say I have a knack for spotting cosmic beauties. He leaned in close, his breath hot against Naxaria's ear. Stick with me, and I'll show you a side of Earth that's out of this world. Trust me, you haven't seen anything yet. With that, Reigns turned and melted into the crowd leaving Naxaria and Mila gaping in his wake. What just happened? Mila whispered, her eyes wide. Naxaria shook her head, trying to clear the fog of confusion and attraction. I don't know, but I have a feeling our Earth adventure just got a whole lot more interesting. As the alien BFFs made their way back to their ship, their minds swirled with excitement. Who was this charming and mysterious Reigns? Could he be the key to unlocking the secrets of Earth's most alluring males? One thing was for sure, their quest for hunky humans was off to a thrilling start. And with the friendly and welcoming nature of the Earthlings they'd met so far, Naxaria and Mila knew they were in for the romantic adventure of a lifetime. The next day, Naxaria and Mila woke up with a singular mission in mind, to find some hot human males to have fun with. 
They slipped into their skimpiest Earth outfits, determined to showcase their alien assets in the most alluring way possible. Girl, we're gonna make those Earth boys drool, Mila declared, adjusting her cleavage in the mirror. Naxaria giggled, feeling a rush of excitement. Let's show them what Lusterian babes are made of. They sauntered into the cafe where they had agreed to meet Ian, turning heads and dropping jaws with every step. Ian was already waiting, looking deliciously handsome in a fitted t-shirt that hugged his muscular frame. Hello, handsome, Mila purred, sliding into the seat next to him. Ready for some out-of-this-world fun? Ian grinned, his eyes drinking in the girl's curves. With you two gorgeous creatures, I'm ready for anything. As they sipped their coffee and flirted shamelessly, Naxaria couldn't help but marvel at Ian's chiseled features and smoldering gaze. She imagined running her fingers over his rippling biceps and kissing those full, inviting lips. Just as things were heating up, a familiar voice interrupted their steamy banter. Well, 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 what do we have here? A couple of space vixens and a hunky earthling? Rain sauntered over, his bad boy swagger on full display. He slid into the booth next to Naxaria, his thigh pressing against hers in a way that made her skin tingle. Mind if I join the party? He smirked, his eyes roaming over Naxaria's body appreciatively. Mila shot Naxaria a mischievous grin. The more, the merrier. We were just about to show Ian here a good time, Lusterian style. Reigns's eyebrows shot up, intrigued. Lusterian style, huh? Count me in. As the four of them bantered and flirted, the sexual tension was palpable. Naxaria found herself torn between Ian's wholesome charm and Reigns's dangerous allure. Why choose when she could have both? Under the table, she felt Reigns' hand slide up her thigh, sending shivers of desire through her body. Across from her, Ian's foot brushed against hers, a silent promise of pleasures to come. Why don't we take this party somewhere more private? Mila suggested, her voice low and seductive. The boys exchanged a heated glance, then nodded eagerly. Lead the way, space angels. Giggling with anticipation, the girls led their hunky prey back to the ship, ready to show them the time of their lives. Earth males were proving to be even more delicious than they had hoped, and they were determined to sample every flavor. As they tumbled into bed in a tangle of limbs and laughter, Naxaria couldn't help but marvel at their luck. They had come to Earth hoping for some spicy fun, and they had hit the jackpot with not one, but two gorgeous human specimens. The night was filled with passion, pleasure, and the kind of mind-blowing, out-of-this-world sex that only a Lusterian could provide. By the time the sun rose, Naxaria and Mila were thoroughly satisfied and already planning their next conquest. Earth, they decided, was the ultimate destination for any alien babe looking for a good time, and they were just getting started. After their wild night with Ian and Reigns, Naxaria and Mila were hooked on human males. They couldn't get enough of their strong, muscular bodies their charming smiles, and their insatiable appetites for all things spicy. I can't believe we wasted so much time on Lusterian guys, Mila sighed, stretching out on the bed like a satisfied cat. Human males are in a league of their own. Naxaria nodded, a dreamy expression on her face. I never knew sex could be so explosive. It's like they have superpowers in the bedroom. The girls dissolved into giggles, reliving every steamy moment of the previous night, but as much fun as they'd had, they knew they couldn't stay in bed forever. There was a whole planet full of delicious Earthmen to explore. They hit the streets of LA, turning heads in their tight, revealing outfits. Men of all shapes and sizes stopped to stare, their jaws dropping at the sight of the otherworldly beauties. Hey there, gorgeous, a buff surfer dude called out, his eyes raking over Naxaria's curves. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Naxaria batted her eyelashes, loving the attention. Actually, I'm from the Lusteria system, but I'd be happy to show you a little slice of heaven right here on Earth. The surfer's eyes widened and he quickly fell into step beside her. I'm Matt, he introduced himself, flexing his impressive biceps, and I'd love to take you up on that offer. Meanwhile, Mila had caught the eye of a group of firefighters, their bulging muscles straining against their tight t-shirts. Well, hello there, boys, she purred sauntering over to them. I heard you guys are experts at handling hot situations. Care to show me your skills? The firefighters exchanged grins, clearly eager to impress the sexy alien. We'd be happy to give you a private demonstration, 
one of them said, his voice low and suggestive. As the girls let themselves be swept away by their new admirers, they couldn't help but marvel at their luck. Earth was like a buffet of hot, willing men, and they were determined to sample every dish. Over the next few days, Naxaria and Mila had more steamy encounters than they could count. There was the charming bartender who mixed them out of this world cocktails and the hunky personal trainer who put them thrushing through their paces in the gym. But even as they reveled in their spicy adventures, the girls couldn't shake the feeling that something was missing. Sure, the sex was mind-blowing, but they found themselves craving a deeper connection, a sense of romance and intimacy that went beyond the physical. Do you think we'll ever find true love on this planet? Naxaria asked one night as they lay tangled in the sheets with their latest conquests. Mila sighed, running her fingers through the sleeping man's hair. I don't know, Nah, but I'm starting to think that maybe we've been going about this all wrong. Maybe we need to focus less on quantity and more on quality, you know? Naxaria nodded, a determined glint in her eye. You're right. From now on, we're not just looking for hot hookups. We're looking for the real deal. The kind of epic, once-in-a-lifetime romance that we've always dreamed of. And with that, the alien girls set out on a new mission. To find their perfect match among the sea of human males. Little did they know, their true soulmates were closer than they ever could have imagined. Naxaria and Mila were on a mission to find their perfect match among the hunky human males of Earth. They had enjoyed their fair share of steamy hookups, but now they craved something more a deep, soul-stirring connection that would set their hearts ablaze. They decided to expand their search beyond the sunny shores of California and booked a flight to the city that never sleeps, New York. Surely in a metropolis filled with millions of people, they would find their cosmic soulmates. As they stepped out of the airport, the girls were immediately swept up in the electric energy of the city, towering skyscrapers, dazzling lights, and a sea of gorgeous men in sharp suits it was like something out of their wildest fantasies. I have a good feeling about this place, Mila grinned, her eyes sparkling with anticipation. I can practically smell the pheromones in the air. Naxaria nodded, her heart racing with excitement. Let's go find our forever hunks. They checked into a swanky hotel in the heart of Manhattan and hit the streets, ready to paint the town red. Everywhere they looked, there were stunning specimens of the male species, brooding artists, suave businessmen, and chiseled athletes. But as much as they enjoyed the eye candy, the girls quickly realized that finding true love in the big city was easier said than done. The men they met were charming and sexy, but there was always something missing, a spark, a connection, that elusive it factor. One night, feeling frustrated and a little bit tipsy, Naxaria and Mila stumbled into a cozy little bar on the Lower East Side. They plopped down on the stools and ordered a round of cosmic cocktails, hoping to drown their sorrows in alcohol and alien pheromones. That's when they saw them. Two ridiculously handsome men sitting at the other end of the bar, deep in conversation. One had dark, tousled hair and a brooding intensity that made Naxaria's heart skip a beat. The other had a boyish grin and a mischievous twinkle in his eye that Mila couldn't resist. Dibs on the tall, dark, and smoldering one, Naxaria whispered, her eyes locked on her target. Fine by me, Mila smirked. I like my men with a side of trouble. They sauntered over to the guys, their hips swaying in a way that was guaranteed to grab attention. Hey there, handsome, Naxaria purred, sliding onto the stool next to the brooding hottie. I'm Naxaria, and this is my friend Mila. We're new in town and looking for a good time. Care to show us around? The dark-haired man looked up, his intense gaze sending shivers down Naxaria's spine. I'm Damien, he said, his voice low and sexy, and I'd be happy to give you a tour of the city, but only if you promise to keep up. Meanwhile, Mila was working her magic on the other guy, whose name turned out to be Finn. So what brings a couple of gorgeous aliens to the Big Apple? He asked, his eyes twinkling with mischief. Oh, you know, Mila grinned, leaning in close. Just a little intergalactic sightseeing. We heard Earthmen were the hottest in the galaxy, and we wanted to see for ourselves. Finn threw his head back and laughed, the sound sending tingles of desire through Mila's body. Well, I can definitely confirm that rumor, he said, his gaze raking over her curves. In fact, I'd be happy to give you a private demonstration. As the night wore on, the four of them talked, flirted, and danced, 
the sexual tension building with every passing moment. Naxaria found herself getting lost in Damien's smoldering gaze, while Mila couldn't keep her hands off Finn's muscular arms. But even as they reveled in the physical attraction, the girls sensed that there was something deeper at play. These men weren't just sexy, they were smart, funny, and genuinely interested in getting to know the real Naxaria and Mila. Could it be? Had they finally found their cosmic soulmates, the men who could satisfy their desires and capture their hearts? Only time would tell. But one thing was for sure, the alien girls were in for the ride of their lives, and they couldn't wait to see where this intergalactic love story would take them next. Naxaria and Mila couldn't believe their luck. Not only had they found two insanely attractive human males, but Damien and Finn were also proving to be the perfect match for their alien sensibilities. They were charming, adventurous, and had a way of making the girls feel like the most desirable creatures in the universe. As they explored New York City together, the foursome's connection deepened with every passing moment. They strolled through Central Park, marveling at the lush greenery and stealing kisses under the stars. They sampled the city's culinary delights, feeding each other bites of pizza and sipping on exotic cocktails. But it was the nights that really set their hearts and other parts on fire. Damien and Finn were skilled lovers, their human passion and technique driving the alien girls wild with desire. They explored each other's bodies with a hunger that was out of this world, discovering new heights of pleasure that they never knew existed. I never want this to end, Naxaria sighed one morning, her head resting on Damien's chiseled chest. I feel like I've finally found my cosmic other half. Damien smiled, his fingers tracing lazy patterns on her bare skin. I know what you mean, he murmured. It's like we were meant to find each other, across all the light years and galaxies. Meanwhile, Mila and Finn were having a similar conversation, tangled up in the sheets of their hotel room. I never believed in fate before, Mila confessed, her eyes locked on Finn's. But now I can't imagine my life without you in it. Finn grinned, pulling her in for a searing kiss. Then let's make sure we never have to, he whispered against her lips. As the days turned into weeks, the two couples fell deeper and deeper in love. They talked about their hopes and dreams, their fears and vulnerabilities. They laughed until their sides ached and made love until the sun came up. But even as they reveled in their cosmic connection, a nagging thought began to tug at the back of Naxaria and Mila's minds. They knew they couldn't stay on Earth forever. They had responsibilities back home and a life that they couldn't just abandon. One night, over a candlelit dinner in their hotel room, the girls finally broached the subject with their human lovers. We need to talk, Naxaria said softly, her eyes brimming with tears. About the future. Damien and Finn exchanged a knowing glance, their expressions a mix of love and sadness. We know, Damien said, reaching out to take Naxaria's hand. We've been thinking about it too. We don't want to lose you, Finn added, his voice thick with emotion. But we also know that you have a life back on Lusteria, and we would never ask you to give that up. Mila's heart swelled with love and gratitude. But what if you didn't have to, she said slowly, an idea forming in her mind. What if, what if you came back with us? The room fell silent as the weight of her words sank in. Naxaria's eyes widened, her heart racing at the thought of having Damien by her side forever. Is that even possible? She whispered. Damien and Finn looked at each other, a silent conversation passing between them. Then slowly they began to smile. For you, my love, Damien said, his eyes shining with devotion. Anything is possible. And so with a mix of excitement and trepidation, the foursome began to plan their intergalactic future together. They knew it wouldn't be easy. There would be challenges and obstacles to overcome, cultural differences to navigate, but they also knew that their love was stronger than any force in the universe, and that together they could face anything. As they packed their bags and prepared to embark on the greatest adventure of their lives, Naxaria and Mila couldn't help but marvel at the twists and turns that had brought them to this moment. Who would have thought that a simple magazine article about the enormous masculinity of human males would lead them to find their soulmates, their cosmic other halves? But as they looked into the eyes of their beloved Damien and Finn, they knew that every step of their journey had been worth it, and they couldn't wait to see what the future held together in the vast and beautiful expanse of the universe. One year later, Hurry up, Damien, Naxaria called out, 
her voice echoing through the bustling spaceport. We're going to miss our flight. Damien emerged from the crowd, his arms laden with shopping bags and a sheepish grin on his face. Sorry, my love, he said, planting a quick kiss on her cheek. I got distracted by the duty-free shops. They have the most amazing selection of intergalactic snacks. Naxaria rolled her eyes, but she couldn't hide her smile. You and your snacks, she teased. I swear you're worse than a Lusterian toddler. Hey, I resent that, Damien laughed, pulling her in for a proper kiss. I'll have you know that I'm a very mature and sophisticated human male. Is that why you're wearing a shirt that says I heart Lusterian babes? Naxaria smirked, poking at his chest. Damien glanced down at his shirt, a mischievous twinkle in his eye. What can I say? I like to show my appreciation for the finer things in life. Just then, Mila and Finn came running up to them, their faces flushed with excitement. Guys, guess what? Mila squealed, bouncing on her toes. Finn just got a job offer from the Lusterian Tourism Board. What? Naxaria gasped, her eyes wide with surprise. That's amazing, Finn grinned, his arm wrapped around Mila's waist. They want me to be their new intergalactic ambassador, he explained. Apparently, our little love story has inspired a whole new wave of tourism between Earth and Listeria. I can see the headlines now, Damien chuckled. Alien girls find love and enormous masculinity on Earth. A tale of cosmic proportions. Mila snorted, punching him playfully in the arm. More like human males prove irresistible to superior alien intellect, she teased. As the foursome made their way to the boarding gate, they couldn't help but reflect on the incredible journey that had brought them together. What had started as a simple quest for spicy fun had turned into a love story for the ages, a cosmic connection that transcended space and time. Can you believe it's been a year since we first met? Naxaria murmured, her head resting on Damien's shoulder as they waited to board. Best year of my life, Damien replied, pressing a kiss to her forehead. And to think it all started with a magazine article about the enormous masculinity of human males. Naxaria giggled, her heart swelling with love and happiness. Who knew that intergalactic propaganda could be so accurate? As they settled into their seats on the spaceship, Mila turned to Finn with a mischievous grin. You know, I heard that the Lusterian Tourism Board is looking for a new slogan, she said casually, something to really capture the essence of our planet. Finn raised an eyebrow, intrigued. Oh, and what did you have in mind? Mila leaned in close, her lips brushing against his ear. Lusteria, come for the spicy tourism, stay for the cosmic love. Finn burst out laughing, his eyes sparkling with adoration. Perfect, he said, pulling her in for a deep, passionate kiss. Absolutely perfect. And as the spaceship lifted off, carrying them towards their new life together, Naxaria and Mila knew that they had found something far more precious than anything they could have ever imagined. They had found love, laughter, in a forever home in the arms of their human soulmates. And as they hurtled through the vast expanse of the universe, they knew that their story was just beginning. A new chapter in the cosmos, filled with spicy adventures and endless possibilities.